A neighborhood is on high alert tonight after a dirty needle was found just feet away from a Lemon Grove playground. People who use the park tell 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis this isn't the first time it's happened and they're worried things won't get better. A lot of kids come to this park and a lot of um, families have like birthday parties here and um, it's kind of sad because now you have to think twice. For some parents, this is the park they played at as kids, but lately it feels less safe. I actually don't bring my kids to the park as often, and I know that sounds kind of sad, but I don't do it for that same reason. Um, just because you never know, you know what's going to happen. You don't know who's been in the park. This mom lives close to Lemon Grove Park and didn't want her face shown. She's seen illegal activity happening here at night and was not surprised to learn what was found here this week. Kind of stopped and looked at it, and the kids are playing, and one kid comes by me with a scooter, and I was like, you know, I better pick that up. Joseph Monroe found this dirty needle on his walk. He used a paper towel to remove it out of harm's way. An intravenous drug user might might have has a might have HIV or hepatitis, and a child could look at that and think it's a toy or. A thermometer, maybe. He's seen needles around the park before, but never this close to the playground. You know, I didn't even know if I should pick it up, but I couldn't walk past it with kids around. Like, there has to be some kind of solution because otherwise, you're ne we're never going to take our kids to the park yeah. if, it keep, if it keeps getting worse. And unfortunately, it is getting worse. She says the community must work together to prevent that from happening. Amanda Brandeis. 10 News. The Sheriff's Department urges people not to pick up or handle hypodermic needles. There are several services you can call, including the Sheriff's Department's non-emergency line. 